Hey everybody, Illusion Castaic here, and we are back in Minecraft doing something new. We're going to be playing modded Minecraft. That's right, I finally got a good enough computer to be able to do this. Actually, at this point, I don't have a great computer, but by the time the season actually starts, I will uh, have upgraded my computer to be able to play modded with little to no lag. So we're going to jump in on in here and check out the world before the season starts. We're just going to be... And here we go. Load in. There we go. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Big tree. Okay, so. Terrain generation. As you can see, we're not doing biomes of plenty. No, we're not. And yes, I am in creative mode. That's only because this is episode zero. And I am the one who is personally hosting the server. I went out and reached out to the guys. They were having trouble with another server host. So it's like, hey, I'm just I'm go ahead and get you guys a server. Got the server, got the mod pack set up, and here we are in the game. So it took me quite a few hours to be able to get this all available, all set up and good to go. So yeah, I'm... Excited, looking forward to it. We're already in a redwood place. We got a uh, a Tinker Slime Island. Let's go up and check. I almost never visit these things in modded Minecraft. Okay, so we got a little bit of purple slime, slimy grass, more slimy grass, slimy leaves, congealed green slime, and we got a big blue slime. So, and we got some of the, the slime water stuff. Oh, there's another slime island right here. It's like exactly the same kind? Yeah. Exactly the same. Oh, what's that? There's a house down here. Oh, is that the new roguelike dungeons houses? I think that's the new roguelike dungeons house. Let's go check it out. Is there an entrance? The entrance is actually over here. Yeah. There it is. Alright. Alright, let's see. I'm having a little bit of issues with my mouse here. Uh, okay, we got a cake, we got a sheep. Stay inside. <laughs> and that definitely goes down. What's upstairs? Got a chest. We got a nice carpet floor. Alright, what do we got? A tempered blade. Got some pants. Uh, shovel, another tempered blade, same type, okay, iron pickaxe, sweet. Statistics, that's def- this is definitely roguelike dungeons, I can tell already. Anytime you see that, that book, it's roguelike dungeons. Yep. Telling you, they're right there, roguelike dungeons. Telling you how many blocks were used in this particular one. Got some glass. Nice, 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 nice. Now, since this is episode zero, this particular world is not going to stay the same, so I can mess around with everything as much as I want to, and there will be no home for it. But we're going to go head back over to where the spawn is, and we're going to check out what mods are in this pack. There's quite a few of them, including a couple that I personally requested. But really quick, I want to check and see if there's anything you can actually do with this particular bit of wood here. Use. Burn it down for charcoal. You can use it to make impregnated casings, which to me always look like freaking wine carts. Use them to make wood rotor blades from industrial craft. So you can basically use them in any place that you use logs. You can get redwood planks out of them. Some sawdust. Okay. Get some furnace. Sawmill. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you can use them like logs. Cool. That is very good. Yeah. 
probably be making good use of these redwoods. Because, uh, to be honest, redwoods have always been a tree that I very, very, very liked. Uh, not just in video games, but in real life as well. So, in terms of terrain generation, we are rocking Extra Biomes XL, I believe it's called. And we are also using Alternate Terrain Generation. What is that? That's a, uh, another hive. Why is it so bright right here? That is strange. What kind of hive is that? It's a murky hive. Okay. That's an interesting looking tree right there. That is a cypress tree. Okay. There's a great wood tree. Yes, Stormcraft is in here. Uh, we've got a lot of the basics. Tinker's Construct, uh, Thumbcraft, MFR, Industrial Craft 2, which I think this particular tree is a Industrial Craft 2 rubber tree. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, we've got Thumbcraft in here. Uh, we got Mechanism and Defense Tech. Those are two that I am excited to look at myself. Uh, can I have my overlay? Thank you. At Defense. There we go. So defense tech gives you all kinds of different stuff for use on uh, basically PPP servers. However, I just wanted to check them out and see what the heck was going on. Uh, my dog's messing with a bull in the background. So yes, we got mines, we got all kinds of different types of explosives. Attractive explosives, repulsive explosives, fragmentation, antidotes, poison powder, signal disruptors. What do these do? Frequent. Oh, you can change the frequency to interrupt the jamming signal. Sweet. Okay. Uh, conventional grade. Pull. Oh wow, those are destructive. <laughs> They're like a creeper. Okay. These are definitely some of the things that I'm going to be getting into when we get the mod system going. Uh, yes. Uh, let's just fill all that back in. Yelling at the dog. <laughs> Alright, we'll get rid of that. What's this? Incendiary explosive. Uh, let's come over here where the sand is so we don't destroy anything too badly. Whee! Wow. Yeah, whoa. Whoa! Okay! <laughs> oh, man. That is very destructive. I like that. Oh, good lord. <laughs> I did not expect it to have that quite of a blast radius. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's see. We got radar guns, remote detonators, laser designators. Ooh. Oh, rocket launcher. Oh, it's got a model too. Okay, um, I guess I need a rocket. Uh, let's see. And <laughs> incendiary missile, okay. Whoa! I have no idea where that went. I think it's still going, oh my god. Okay, um. Oh! <laughs> Okay, yeah, you can tell what I'm going to be getting into in uh, the mod pack. This tree is a goner. <laughs> Mine factory loaded. Rubber tree. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I better put that away before I get in trouble. <laughs> Repulsive missile. What does that do? The models on these things are absolutely incredible. And it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Exothermic, debilitation, homing missile, nuclear, oh god, nuclear cluster, red matter, missile module, 
anti-ballistic missile, fragmentation missile, sonic, oh, sonic, we gotta try sonic. Whoops! Oh. Okay! <laughs> okay then! Wow! <laughs> We're gonna have to warn people about this stuff. Wow! Okay! So. That was something. <laughs> Thermal barrack. Uh, let's try a rejuvenation missile. Where is the rocket launcher? There. Okay. Uh, let's get the sonic missile off. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. No! So pretty much, like... Uh, okay. <laughs> Whoops! I think I destroyed a few trees there. Okay. Oh well, wow, <laughs> that sand went everywhere. It's even up at the trees. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of fun in this mod pack, guys. I can tell you that right now. Uh, let's see. What else have we got here? Uh, attractive missile, cluster missile, conventional missile, antimatter missile, anvil missile, hypersonic. Let's try an anvil missile. Okay, what did that do? Oh! <laughs> That's a lot of enemy Um, Let's try like that. Yeah! <laughs> That's a lot of enemies! <laughs> okay, creator of defense tech, you have truly outdone yourself with this one. Uh, defense tech was made by the same people who made the... Um, the mechanism mod, yeah. So, bam. <laughs> That's a little bit better. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of those. All right. Chemical, oh, chemical grenades. What are these? I keep forgetting that this is 1.7. What do you do? Ugh, oh my gosh. Wow. Oh god. That is so psychedelic. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you can wear off now. Let me get a bucket of milk here. Good lord, I can't even use the bucket of milk on this stuff. Oh, I bet you that's what the antidote is for. She got one of these. The only thing that's left is that toxin. I don't know how long that lasts for. That is pretty dang cool. Alright, I think I'm done messing around with that for a little bit though. That's sand everywhere. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be coming on the server. Oh my gosh, look how far it goes. <laughs> and there's water too. <laughs> They're all gonna be going, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's check out the rest of the mods in this pack. Uh, if any, I will cooperate. So we've got Advanced Genetics, AE2, uh, Applied Aerodynamics. I think it's a uh, an add-on for AE2. So is AE2 stuff. And then we got uh, the Aroma Core Dimensional World, Artifice to add more stuff to the world. Auto Meiji, I believe, is an add on for Thumbcraft? Uh, don't quote me on that. And then we got Bobbles, Buildcraft, um, Carpenter's Blocks, Compact Storage, Computer Craft, Defense Tech, obviously. <laughs> Been having fun with that one. Dense Ores, Ender Compass. Get a little compass, find your way to the stronghold. Ender IO, Ender Utilities, Extra Utilities, Extra Cells, Enhanced Inventories. This is going to be like my primary storage system here. Uh, I know everybody tries to go to uh, Applied Energetics like as quickly as possible, but Enhanced Inventories, I love the look of their chests. 
extra utilities, floodlights, because, you know, floodlights are great. Uh, more songcraft add-ons, forestry, Ganny's Nether, Gendistry for those who like magic bees, hardcore ender expansion, immersive engineering, which is another thing I'm going to be getting into a lot of, IC2, iron chest, logistics pipes, magical crops, because I know a lot of people like to use magic crops. Mechanism, probably going to be my primary ore processing system. Uh, Metallurgy 4, Metallurgy Classic Machines, uh, Open Modular Turrets, another PvP system. Uh, let's see. PAMS, Particle Library, I honestly don't know what that is for. It, it came with one of the mods. Quantum Flux, Railcraft, Shiny Foods, Make More Foods Gold. <laughs> that was literally what it said on the mod. Uh, RF tools, simply jetpacks, soul shards, storage drawers, and I added in the stuff for the two different uh, mods that add in more trees. Uh, more thongcraft stuff, more thongcraft stuff. Actually, that's not looking good. Air light. Oh, it's a fake item. Okay, never mind. Uh, Tech Reborn, which is basically Industrial Craft 2 reimagined with Greg Tech. Uh, I honestly have never really done too much IC2 or Greg Tech, so this is probably not something I'm going to get into very much. Thaumaturgical knowledge, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Thaumcraft itself, bunch of the add-ons for it. Twilight Forest, we're going to be doing a lot of that too. Uh, let's see, Thermal Dynamic System, Tinker's Construct, and Translocators. Uh, translocators are actually a very awesome way of transporting items between inventories. <laughs> oh, sand everywhere. And this might be a totem right here. We're in the tiniest eerie biome ever. <laughs> There's sand. Oh, good. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, okay. Yeah. This is what I've been doing, guys. Uh, we're going to be getting this set up as quickly as we can. And I'm hoping to get everybody in on the, the fun pretty quick. So... <laughs> So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like or a comment. If you really liked it, please subscribe and look forward to the future episodes of Modded Minecraft with the Outleash No Server. See you around, guys. Bye-bye.